My Eggs Boson Super Configurator. I've accomplished what no other scientist has ever done. Prove climate change is real? Build a machine that creates a miniature black hole and makes broccoli taste like applesauce. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to start eating my broccoli and simultaneously prove once and for all that I'm the greatest scientist who ever lived. Nicely done, sir. Depth perception is for losers. And now to present my brilliant invention to the scientific community and be honored by my peers. Wait until the last minute, huh? There's no way I can lose. I mean, sure, it's a nice rock, but I think I have the edge here. Hi, I'm Beth the Shrew, and I made this all by myself, I betcha. Ah, the solar system. It's so much less cluttered since they tossed that dwarf planet. Except there's no such thing as other planets. They're just holograms projected by aliens. If there are no planets, then where do the aliens come from, mister? You see, particle theory is different from string theory, so my device would- Whoa! A potato clock! What makes it a potato clock? You wind it up when you go to bed, and it wakes you up potato clock! Welcome to the Village Science Fair Awards. Did you see Lady Walrus on the red carpet? She's had that dress so long it's been in style three times. Ha! <coughs> Nothing, huh? Fine. The award for best science fair project goes to Beth the Shrew and her solar system diorama. <laughs> And of course, everyone gets a participation trophy! Because if at first you don't succeed, you've actually succeeded. Hey, where's my trophy? You were disqualified. You exceeded the height limit for a children's competition. You also win a week of observing our village's top scientist. Expert science judge, Tails. <sighs> I know what'll cheer you up. Let's see what net meal toy you got. Councilman McMahon! What nitwit thought kids would find a bean-counting bureaucrat character interesting? My son picked that rock out all by himself. Look how she's gushing over him. It's just a silly rock! I wish I had someone to give me unconditional love like that. Not you. But maybe a robot is the answer. Uploading recipe file, including Happy Face Pancakes, Basic First Aid Instructions, Lullabies, All Bedtime Stories Were Evil Triumphs. Add to database. Don't play ball in the house. No more screen time. And if you keep making that face, it'll get stuck that way. My new robot will praise even my lamest accomplishments. Hello! My boy! Mom, bot! Say, mister. You know all about science, I betcha. Well, I have been working on some pretty awesome inventions. Introducing the Hover Cycle. <laughs> science is so interesting. What would you like to do next, sweetie? Pick out your clothes for tomorrow or go get ice cream? Oh, ice cream! Ice cream! Then can we go to the movies or the mall or have high tea at the Fuzzy Puppy store? Maybe we should just have a montage. I love you, Mom, but... Mom, 
Lombard made this for me. With wool and with love. One of which I may be allergic to. Now I'm off to defeat Sonic and make Mombot proud. Don't forget your lunch pumpkin. And don't trade your raisins for candy. Yes, Mombot. I'll be home after I obliterate Sonic. Through the microscope, common objects are super cool or totally disgusting. I have to go battle Eggman. You better stay here where it's completely safe. On second thought, come with me. Keep an eye on Beth. I know you're good with children. Well, well, well. If it isn't the queen of the science fair. That didn't turn out very well. But Mombot's programmed to love me unconditionally. So long, losers! <laughs> Let's go, Beth. I can show you this water displacement experiment. You must be the strongest guy on the island, I bet you. How'd you get so strong, mister? Upper body workouts. Exclusively. <sighs> Mombot, I just suffered a humiliating defeat at the hands of that pesky blue rodent. Oh, my poor baby. Maybe villainy isn't for you. You're good with tinkering. Maybe you can take a course in air conditioner repair. But, but I'm a supervillain. That's very similar to an air conditioner repairman. You should be proud of me. I'd be proud if you were a doctor. I am a doctor. I meant a real doctor. <sighs> You'll see. Once I defeat Sonic... Again with defeating Sonic? He seems like a nice boy. Why can't you two be friends? Because he's my arch nemesis! Adair! Sonic, this is Eggman's Mombot. Mombot, you're embarrassing me! My baby doesn't have any friends. Can you take him to the movies? I'll pay. Mm. If you keep making that face, it'll get stuck that way. Someone named Mombot asked me to take Eggman to the movies. Sounds like a trap. I know, but how can I say no to her? She knit me this great scarf. I'm hoping the fans like it more than this one. Blech. Beth was supposed to meet me here, but she's more interested in watching Knuckles smash things than learning about science. She's a smart kid. She won't want to watch someone smash things forever. I want to watch you smash things forever. Hey, Beth, I can use this bar to show you how metal conducts electricity. Or this. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, Egghead, did your mommy make any more play dates for you today? My saintly Mombot wants me to make peace with you, but I'd rather make pieces of you! Huh? Oh? <laughs> what happened to you? Sonic beat me up. Well, I'm just going to have to make peace between you and Sonic myself. Knuckles and I are going to play a fun game while I teach you about science. Now the coconut's velocity... <laughs> Holy cow, Knuckles! You really walloped that thing. Say, mister? Just a second, Beth. See if you can hit it over the trees this time. All right! Breakfast for dinner? Thank you, Mombot. What a polite young man. So, Amy, I don't mean to pry, but you and Sonic are friends? Or... Mombot's right. You know, spring chicken. <laughs> Who let you leave the house dressed like that? You must get chilly. I'm going to defeat Sonic in front of Mombot, so she'll see what a great villain I am! <laughs> Air conditioning repair. Well, you know, it is good to have something to fall back on. I 
can see your attack, robots. You installed eyes in the back of my head. Now, I spent all day planning this dinner, and you ruined it. You're my son. You shouldn't upset me like this. I created you. I'm your father. I'm your son. Your father. Your son. Your father and your son. <laughs> Mosquito, now go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> I hope one day your children break your heart like you did mine. I hit the sky fluff! I'm science! Headphones pumping subliminal messages from the government. Really, mister? They have lots of ways of controlling you. Fluoride in the tap water, chemtrails, diet soda. Hmm? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! If you can ground me, I can erase you. Puddin', did you get the email chain letter I forwarded to you? Mombot, I've been thinking about it and, uh... I... I'm sending you on a cruise around the world! Wow! <laughs> what son would do that for his mother? I am so proud. Mm. What? Does it always have to end on a joke? <laughs>